guys, so today I have for you DIY that you're going to do with mason jars. And mason jars are really universal. Um, you can get them at the craft store for about $2 each or $1.50 each. Um, so in this DIY, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a candle, a makeup brush holder, a floating candle, and also a really easy mug cup kind of thing. Um, and they're all really, really easy. They're all like, you don't need any craft skills at all. I'm like terrible at drawing and painting and artistic abilities so um, I can do this so you can do it too. This is supposed to be a collaboration with a bunch of other girls for a Halloween like collaboration video but unfortunately I didn't finish filming until like two weeks after that because I was just really busy and I got my license if you guys saw on Instagram so that's really exciting but um, I want to apologize to all those girls that were in the collab. So hope you guys enjoy this DIY and let's get started. Looking at it now. All right, is you're going to get your mason jar. They also have these ones with um, panels on the side, so it's more like a mug. And those were a little bit extra. So if you wanted a more of a mug type um, drink glass, then then you can just get one of those off this. And then I bought these other uh, like mason jar accessories. Basically, um, this is actually a lid. So instead of this that comes with it, you get. You can put this on it, and then that has a hole in the middle, so you can put a straw in it. So, so you're just going to put that on the top, and then I got these really cute straws from Macy Moore. Um, there's pink and white stripes. If you can get like a plastic straw, then you can just do that. And then you're going to put the ram on top of it that comes with the jar. And then just get your straw, and then put it in there, and that's it. That's really it. So for this DIY, you'll be needing a mason jar, a crown of your choice, candle wicks, which can be bought at the craft store. Um, you're going to be needing some fragrance. I got some almond biscotti fragrance. And then a big tub of Crisco vegetable oil, um, not oil shortening, or like, yeah, just like the shortening butter kind of stuff. Um, cause that is the base for your candle. So you need, um, like some kind of glass glue. I, I'm using the E6000 glass glue. I actually used, tried to use super glue, but that does not work. So you have to actually get, um, some kind of glass glue that's industrial strength. So just a little tip there. And then, um, you'll be needing a large measuring cup to put your Crisco in to melt down. You're going to take your wick and you're going to, want to um, glue it to the bottom of the mason jar before you start microwaving your shortening. So you're just going to take the wick out and get some of your glue. If I can open it, that is. All right, Lauren, you can do it. Just put a dab on the bottom of this. And this is really, really, like, gooey. There as best you can in the bottom of the jar. And then what I found that works best is to use a fork and then get it in there and just kind of press it down because the mason jar is kind of a little bit too narrow to stick your hand in there and try to press it down so a four works good just to press it down there so it stays now we have our wick in there nicely secure now we're going to take your big measuring cup um, don't use like your regular like one cup measuring cup because that is too small for this I already found out this is a four cup Measuring cup, you probably don't need this big of a one, but um, I would say at least three cups that can hold, or just a big one in general, whatever. So just take your Crisco, like so, pop it in here. I would say fill it up to the two cup mark, um, or a little bit over that, because it melts down a lot, so yeah. So now what you're going to do is pop this in the microwave for one minute and then after that minute stir it and then after that you're going to put it in for another minute and then another minute. So basically it's three minutes in total um, but after each minute you start circle it. <laughs> but after each minute you um, stir it. Here it goes. So in the microwave it goes for one minute and then we're going to stir it and then put it in for another two minutes. been one minute now in the microwave and now you're just going to stir it up. At this point now, after you stirred it, you're going to take your crown, so take the paper off and then put it in your candle base. Okay, so now we got our crowns in there, stir them up again. Now we're going to put it back in the microwave for one minute. Look at that color, that's really pretty. If you guys see that, it's like a mint green, kind of seafoam, green kind of color. And just to make sure it's totally liquefied and um, there's no solids in here. 
it's just better to put it in for another minute um, and to make sure the crowns are all the way melted down. So just do that for one more minute. Now we are done our three minutes of microwaving and we're just going to stir it for the last time. And it's very liquidy. It's like the consistency of water basically. Um, yeah, it's very, very liquidy. And we're going to take our fragrance and just put it, I would say, like about, I don't know, a couple drops. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Why not? And kind of a lot because um, I noticed that with the crayons in there, it kind of gives it a little bit, of a, a little bit of a smell. I noticed, at least with my crayons, uh, so you need a little bit more of um to overpower that and bring the actual scent that you want. Um, so now you add that and just stir that in. And now we're just going to pour our mixture into the mason jar. And you fill it almost to the top, but not quite to the top, because you want to have enough room to burn it still. And then what we're going to do, unless you want to hold it for like six or three hours, just take some tape, the width of your mason jar, hold the wick up here, put it across like so. And now when it's taped off like that, then you'll have to hold it at all. Do that? Was that, was that in the, ooh. Okay, but, and beware guys, this jar is extremely hot, so don't pick it up and try to move it somewhere else. Just I'm just going to let this dry for two to six hours. Um, it depends how long it takes to dry. Um, I would say more on the four to six hour range it takes to dry. So basically you leave it overnight and then check it in the morning. That's how you make your DIY mason jar candle. Um, Lim discover. The rest of the world is black and white We were in screaming color And I remember this DIY, you'll be needing a regular size mason jar Some decorative um, glass stones or beads A tea light Water and also some glitter if you want to So all you're going to do is take your glass beads And you really don't have to put anything in here if you don't want to All you really need is the water and the tea light obviously to make it floating um, and it's pretty cool I think. I'm just going to take my orange festive glass beads right here good job Laura I have like just like a shallow amount of the beads in here and then just for a little Decoration. So put some um, of this like iridescent white glitter into it, and then all you're gonna do is take your water, and I'm so fancy putting our mason jar. Just pour it in there, and then just pour it up until the lip of the mason jar. And so just take tea light, hold it by the um, stem or wick. Just carefully place it in the water, and it'll float just like that. And then obviously you're gonna want to light it. Then just light the candle. And there you have a really, really elegant, really pretty and festive and easy decoration. On to the makeup brush holder DIY. And for this DIY, you're going to be needing some Mod Podge. And ribbon is optional. I got this really pretty lace um, crochet kind of ribbon right here. It's really pretty, but it's optional. You don't, you don't have to have it. Uh, you're also going to need some paint, obviously, to paint the entire mason jar. And then also a sponge um, foam brush. And then, of course, your glitter. So you can use, um, like, silver or gold glitter if you want to. But since I have, like, a goldish, like, rose goldy, um, goldy, goldish kind of paint, I chose a, like, um, white iridescent. Don't use acrylic paint because that is more likely to chip off. And multi-surface paint uh, will stay on better. So, and you're going to want to do around two to three coats depending on how opaque your um, paint is and how opaque you want it to be. And now I'm just going to simply paint the entire jar this color. And, and you can use spray paint if you want to too. Um, that would probably be faster. But that takes a lot more you know, practice to be able to spray it all the way evenly. Um, so now I have completed my first coat and this is what it looks like so far. It looks almost like it's kind of just like fogged over with like a little bit of copper paint. Um, but so I'm going to let this dry and then once it's dry I'm going to paint our coat and then 
and our coat after that and possibly fourth coat. So now that it's completely dry, it's been dry now for like a day. Um, it's best to probably do it at night, do the painting at night and then wait for it to dry overnight and then do this in the morning. Because for this part, if the um, paint is still tacky or a little bit, or it's the slightest bit wet, then it will come off on this tape and that's not good. Um, so just make sure that's completely dry. So now I'm just taking this Paris tape and I'm just going to basically mark off where I want my glitter to be. So um, if you can see that, I'm just doing like right above the um, wide mouth mason jar little thing there. I'm just going to take the tape and go all the way around with it. Try to make it as, easy, as even as I can. Now that's all the way around the jar, the painter's tape. Um, just rip it off like so. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take our Mod Podge. I'm just going to simply take a foam brush and a little bit of Mod Podge. I think I said that weird, but I'm sorry. Um, it's like really, it's like thicker too. It's not like regular Elmer's glue. Um, just FYI. Just take a little bit of that and simply paint on your desired area for the glitter. So yeah, just paint that over the whole entire area. So now all you're gonna do is just sprinkle it onto your jar here, rotating it. And this is the best way to do it. So now that you have the glitter all on your mason jar here, make sure to shake it off to get any excess glitter off here. And then don't worry about like if your Mod Podge um, shines through a little bit, like the streaks. So don't worry about that because that, clear, that dries clear anyway. So now you're just going to want to take off the tape, very carefully though, because, you know, it's still kind of wet with the Mod Podge on there. So just pe carefully peel off the tape. So now we're just going to wait for the Mod Podge to dry. So now while we're waiting for the glitter to dry in the Mod Podge, we're going to take some really cute ribbon. You can use any color or type of ribbon that you like. And just wrap it around the neck here of the mason jar. And then simply tie it like a bow. And then finally just trim the little tails of the ribbon. I like to do it on a diagonal because it gets cuter that way. Now what you're going to do is take some, um, I have some rice in here. I have some like of the beads I use for the floating candle DIY. Um, just like whatever that you have, is, that's like a filler basically. You can also buy like the filler clear plastic beads at the craft store, but they're kind of expensive. So I'm going to pour it right in here. DIYs. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was really fun making it and kind of putting together a whole bunch of ideas and making a bunch of things out of one simple like main ingredient which is a mason jar. So that was really cool that I was able to do that. And if you guys want more DIYs in the future make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Are we out of the woods? Looking at it now. And Screw me up. <laughs> I didn't make a sound. What? What was that? I didn't make a sound. Yeah, okay.